All right, y'all. I had to make this video real quick because I had to prove a point on something. This moment right here, it's just baffling. The news media refuses to talk about it. All they want to do is bash the Giants on their number two selection when, honest to God, it was Dave Gettleman's best decision since taking over as Giants general manager. All right, Saquon Barkley, bearing, God forbid, any, you know, career-threatening injuries happens again, I believe will retire from the NFL and be considered widely as the greatest running back to play the game. But my point here is that they want to talk about that number two pick, but they forget to mention this, how the Giants were two drafts, two draft picks away from selecting Lamar Jackson. And had they call, uh, you know, an old friend in Bill Belichick and traded up three draft picks to get Lamar Jackson, this would have solved this quarterback fiasco that they got going right now. They would have never had to take Daniel Foams, all right? Daniel Foams for legs as their starting quarterback. You could have avoided that situation. And don't give me that, all right? Don't give me any of that excuses, Lamar Jackson was there, three draft picks away. And this same man who chose not to trade up three draft picks from his spot, from 34 to 31 to get Lamar Jackson, all right, did this. He traded up from 37 to 30 for a cornerback who's no longer on their roster and is widely considered a draft bust, all right, a first-round draft bust. He could do that. Trade up seven spots for a cornerback who had red flags coming into the NFL draft. But yet couldn't make the big move, the clutch move to trade up three spots to get Lamar Jackson. This, ladies and gentlemen, was the moment I questioned whether Dave Gettleman was the right guy. And uh, as time would tell from this moment, that my suspicions we're hitting something. I just want to point that out. Y'all have a good one.